Hey guys, this is John with Mac Kids 101, and I already showed you how to make animated GIFs with Photoshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a website and with our new GIF animating app. So our app is called GIF Animator. I'm going to open up right here. Open. Alright. And it's really simple to use. Alright, you can just drag your images here. I have two different sets of images. Here is a globe rotating, and here is some blood. And um, they both have seven images, and they're both PNGs, but it really doesn't matter what format it is. So I'm just going to, all you want to do is make sure that the files are in order that you want them to be. So as you can see, it's globe one, globe two, globe three, so that's good. And then if you want, you can just press the arrow keys to go down and make sure that it's in the right order. Now, this is going to spin a pretty quickly because the original file had a lot more pictures, but I just, for uh, purposes of making the video, uh, be able to be in a realistic amount of time, I just lo lowered it to seven images. And you can change the frames per second by changing, um, by clicking on these arrows. So I'm just going to make it two frames per second, and it's actually, you should make it around 12 frames, frames per second, but since I only have seven images, it's going to seem to go really fast. So then I'm just going to hit export and it'll ask me where I want to save it to. I'll just say my desktop and I'll just call it globe. Alright, and then you can have more options if you click on that. And so I'm going to say globe, save, and obviously it's going to be globe.gif. So it's just going to take a little while to load. It might look like it stopped responding. That's just because it's loading. Um, just be patient with it. All right. So now, as you can see, it is done. And I can open up with preview. And if I press the down arrow, you're going to see what it looks like. And if I want to actually play it, I can all open it up with a browser. I'll open that up with, let's say, Google Chrome. Also, I suggest that you make your pictures really small if you use our app, because our app is just a simple app, and uh, it's not made for really high-quality images, so it might take a while to load. So as you can see, here it is, fully loaded, and yeah, it does spin really quickly, but that's pretty much our little app, and it's called GIF Animator. We're going to have the source code, a link to the source code, and a, a link to the app to it, itself in the description. I'm just going to quit Chrome, quit Preview, and quit GIF Animator. Now I'm going to be showing you a site that does this, and it's actually called GIFNinja.com. So to create a GIF, you can do a lot of act things, actually. You can create a GIF, you can convert a video to a GIF, you can split an animated GIF, and you can resize an image. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to create a GIF image, but the site's called GIFNinja.com. I'll have a link to it. In, in the description and feel free to play around with the other things they have. So I'm going to say create an animated GIF so you can have up to five images. So our, our app let you have more than five images but our app also wasn't as great quality. So I'm just gonna use five images instead of all seven. Alright, now, you or you can send a zip file of all your images. I should have done that, but it doesn't matter. Alright, now you can also choose the speed, like, and that's going to show you an example of the speed, like how fast it's going to look. So, do you want to go really fast or really slow? Again, this is just the same thing, frames per second. So I'm going to say around 2 frames per second, and then you just hit Make My GIF. And it's going to take a second to load, and yes, this is my GIF. And then you can, they'll give you options. You can say, yes, it's fantastic. No, it's too slow or too fast. And you can change the settings. Also, um, you see, as, as you can see, this image looks kind of red. The reason why is because GIFNinja.com doesn't really support transparency. Like, as you can see, the original image is slightly transparent. I don't know if you can see the text behind there. But, yeah, so that's why uh, GIFNinja just put red instead of there. Anyways, this was just a quick video on how to make some GIF images. Again, you can also do it with Photoshop. I had a toy on that about a year ago or so. So, thank you for watching Mac Kids 101. Subscribe for more videos and goodbye.